want to make sure I, I, um, I want to say thank you, uh, Mr. Swarbrick. Appreciate you having me, uh, Coach Kelly, and uh, uh, for having me here today. Uh, obviously, all you guys showing up, you know, Chad, appreciate the uh, invitation. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so let me just do this real quick. Let me get this out of the way. Patriots fans? Okay, all right. Colts fans? Okay, all right, I'm good. Okay, wasn't sure. Didn't know how that was going to go. I uh, appreciate Mike not showing any Giants, Super Bowl stuff. That's not. I'm real good with birds. I've got Eagles, Falcons, Seahawks, the Giants. I'm still trying to figure that one out. So, uh, appreciate everybody coming. Uh, what I want to do tonight and talk to you guys, I really think um, I have the utmost appreciation and admiration for what you guys do. I think as a coach, uh, i just give you a very brief background of myself. I'm actually an engineer. I uh, went to college, played college football. Um, I'm an aeronautical engineer, was kind of you know, doing the aeronautical engineer, started my MBA, and um, I grew up in a family with teachers. My dad was a coach, he was a wrestling coach. And you know that, that upbringing, that influence, the influence I had from my dad, the influence I had in, in college with my college coaches, you know, I think what you guys do in developing, you know, the young men of our community and the young men of our country, I, I just, you know, it's, it's completely 100% you guys are in the front lines battling it, so I appreciate what you guys do. So in my thought here for today, what I'd really like to do, you know, is give you guys some, some fundamentals. I want to, yeah, I got a lot of tape, I mean, so we can gear up and Chad will throw me out of here about midnight or so. We, we can coach some ball, we can talk some stuff. I want to get to questions. I want to show you some tape. I got some drill work. I want to show you some drills. I want to show you some things that I think can help you guys uh, and help your teams uh, be better football teams. And some of our philosophy stuff that we do, I'll share with you real quick. I'm going to kind of buzz through it quickly because I want to make sure I get everything covered. All right, but if there's questions or anything that you guys want me to talk about, you know, please just holler out. We'll get those answered and we'll go through, especially with the drill work. I think, I think um, you know, a couple of things that I want to talk about here tonight uh, <clears throat> for myself that I think is really important are, you know, uh, fundamentals. I think the fundamental part of the game is really, as I look at it, and we scout college kids, and, and I know the influence you guys have uh, coming up and through, I think the fundamentals is what's really is sliding in our game, okay? And I look at it, and I think the number one thing as a defensive coach that I see that's sliding is tackling. There's a lot of bad tackling in football right now, and with the emphasis that we have at our level, and I think it goes all the way down to the lower levels of, you know, using good form to tackle with, keeping the head out of the tackling, you know, really trying to tackle like men, like I tell our guys, we're going to chest them up. I think there's a lot of work there, and if you look at uh, teams and the performance of the season, and you start to look at where the fundamentals start to decline, because you're not putting as much practice time into them, that's where the teams that are fundamentally sound and fundamentally, you know, solid, really get that advantage. Now, there's a lot of things in here, fundamentals, tackling, turnovers, playing the ball. I think those three things right there are really important. I think all of those from a standpoint of, you know, we look at it defensively of, you know, look, we all got schemes. They're all good schemes. Everybody's got their own scheme. I can tell you our scheme. It's probably maybe or may not be applicable to what you guys do. All right, if there was one great coverage that defeated everything, sorry, Mike, we'd all be playing it and we'd all win a lot of football games on defense, but that's not really how it works. So that's not really how it works. So, but I think what is important is you're gonna see all the fundamental things that show up on film that we teach every single day that are the most critical in the biggest games. You know, the biggest games. The deep ball is one. You know, when that ball is launched downfield, all right, basically as a defensive player, all right, one of three things can happen. And really, two of them aren't good for us, okay? They can catch it, okay, which is bad. We can, we can break it up, which is incomplete, all right? Or more times than not, it's a penalty, okay? Which is, again, bad for us. And the penalties happen because of technique and form, all right, in that position when the ball is thrown up. So for us, really focusing on how to play the ball, how to make sure we defend the deep ball, that's, uh, A, a way for us to eliminate big plays, change of field possession, offenses getting in scoring position. The tackling, I think that's another big one because, again, a lot of big plays, especially in the run game or even in the short passing game, where a guy misses a tackle and that, you know, two, three, four yard gain turns into a 15, 20 yard gain, that's another big play that we're trying to prevent. So having the ability to tackle well in space, tackle in line, all right, those are things we put a lot of point of emphasis on, okay? And again, you know, I, 
Look, we're, like all of us, we take a lot of pride in what we do in our work and everything like that. There's no bigger compliment to me than when a coach comes up to me and says, you know, he goes, your corners, they tackle. Because right, corners don't tackle, right? Dion will get up on NFL Network and tell you he doesn't have to tackle. It's a business decision, all that crap, all right? Well, look, the business decision is make the tackle and let's make sure we get off the field. That's the business decision. We're trying to win the game, all right? But when coaches come up to me and they say, hey, your corners tackle really well, I take a lot of pride in that. And that's just an overall philosophy of everybody on the field working together to get better at that. And then, you know, besides Besides points, which is the number one thing we look at, all right, the next thing that we look at that determines game is turnovers. And I think turnovers is just a mentality. It's a way to look at the game. It's really something you want to implement and instill into your players every single play attacking the football. It may not always be, you know, 100% the way you want it, okay, but as they attack the ball, they're consciously trying to get it out. You know, good things happen in those situations. You know, and, and the theme throughout this, we, you know, have a saying at New England, saying at New England, uh, practice execution becomes game reality and it's something that you know look this isn't baseball this isn't basketball those guys play over a hundred games during their season they play games to get better they play games all right to improve we don't have that luxury we got 16 of them or 19 of them as we look at it all right and we need to get better in practice practice is our only opportunity to get better because we can't afford to waste one of those games trying to get better it's not good enough for us so Again, a couple other topics I'll you know, get to possibly here is uh, defeating blocks. I think that's really important. How to play with your hands up front, how to defeat an offensive blocker. That's going to come up quite a bit. Stopping the run for us is obviously critical. You know, that's where we're going to start with every run game. Try to make the offense one-dimensional uh, and you know, stop that run. There's a lot of things in there that we talk about. And then just the overall attitude of the defense. I think if you play some fundamentally sound defense, the attitude of the overall players and the confidence of the overall you know, defensive unit, all right, that attitude, that swagger, whatever you want to call it, all right, that um, you know, just kind of overall intimidation factor goes up. Okay? Okay? So again, our philosophy is a lot of stuff in there. I don't know if you guys can really read it. All right, we basically break it down. We teach the players. We're talking about first and second down, stopping the run, being strong through the middle of the defense, playing a combination of zone and man coverage, which you saw some of that on film here earlier. All right, so we make sure that we're doing that. Playing really good on third down, making sure we're giving effort, all that stuff, the red area, the importance of that, situational football, and then again, the bottom line is being sure strong tacklers and turning the ball over. We go through this every year. A lot of my guys that have been on the defense for a long time now, I don't care. We read it. We make sure we emphasize it. We're going over it. It's a point of emphasis. The one thing about football, and again, you know, your football players is, if you put a point of emphasis on something, men, all right, they're going to they're gonna do it. If you make it that strong of a conviction for you guys, all right, that that's important, they're really going to try to do it. So, look, don't assume. Make sure you go through it. You know, things like that, I think it's important. I think it's important. Uh, again, we talk about the significance of points. Uh, you know, this is just kind of point differential here since 2010 for us. The, the rank, the differential, that's our overall uh, points against and points for offense and defense combination. You know, in this past year, uh, point differential to us is the most important thing, finishing number one in points. And then, but the most important thing is the overall rank. You can see up there, you know, pretty, you know, pretty good here uh, if you take a look at it. Turnovers, again, another significant stat. Uh, turnovers, the give or take away ratio. You can see the overall there on the far left. And then, you know, just where we are net difference all the way on the far right again two biggest stats in football all right all those teams that you know we only give up so many yards and we're the number one defense because we only give up you know 100 yards okay we give up 40 points so it doesn't really matter okay it's points and it's turnovers that's the most important thing all right right thing all right right now Okay, fundamentals. Becoming a lost art, being a tough team, physical violent game, all right, tools for the future. These are all things I think are important for young football players, players that you guys coach at your level that transfers into college programs that they're going to learn a new scheme there and then really taking them to the next level. All right, what's the definition of being a tough team? We talk about this all the time, all right? As a team, the definition of being a tough team, number one, all right, offensively, you got to be able to run the ball. Okay, well, then if you want to be a tough team on defense, you've got to be able to stop the run. Okay, and then the way that we evaluate that on special teams is you've got to be able to cover kicks. So when we look at the game, we go back through the game, we look at our team, how we're building our team. All right, those are the three things we're trying to evaluate. Are we a tough team or not? Again, this is a, this is a violent sport, it's a tough sport. All right, so we're trying to do that. 
Things we're trying to get done, you know, uh, from the lost arts category we'll talk about here tonight, tackling and turnovers, ball skills, all right? I want to get to those, show you some drills, show you some drills, tackling, okay? I like to talk about tackling. I talk about it a lot, very passionate about it. We really try to break it down into two different categories. The first one is inline, okay? Inline means that tackle that's happening right now in your face. You shed a block, and all of a sudden, you're one yard away from them. You're right here, and we gotta, I got to make a tackle, okay? That's inline tackling. That's, you know, look, we try to teach it with proper technique. I'll go through what we do there. But again, a lot of those tackles, they happen like this. You've got to make sure the guy's violent and aggressive with it. He's wrapping up. And one of our big points of emphasis is we're trying to get the ball. We're trying to bite the ball with our face mask. All right, we're trying to keep the head out of it. So we put the head on the ball, try to knock it loose. That's pretty, you know, uh, pretty important for us right there. Fit and finish, what we talk about. Open field tackling, that's the next really kind of uh, emphasis point, and that's all about basically now, all right, we're in a situation where we got distance, I'm trying to close my space between the ball carrier, how do I get there, how do I approach them, so that I can get into an inline position and then go through my technique there, okay? Technique there, okay? So, again, tackling inline fit, all right, we want to be in a good football hitting position, helmet at the level of the ball, hands, you know, waist high, ready to go, focused on the midsection, ready to step into contact, same leg, same shoulder. Now, this is where I always get in the biggest discussion here with coaches and philosophy and all the rest of it, okay? All right, we look at tackling like a boxer does a jab, okay? A jab. We're trying to tackle. When, I ta when we tackle, okay, we're not, you like, look, we're not just we're trying to get the guy on the ground, don't get me wrong, but I'm actually trying to knock him back. I'm trying to land on top of him. I want to finish on top of him. I want him going backwards. It's intimidating tackling, it's momentum, it's force, it's all that stuff that we put into it. All right, so from a boxing standpoint, if you watch boxers and they jab, all right, everything from a jab standpoint, it's same leg, same arm, they jab right here, they're trying to just stun the opponent before they throw the haymaker. All right, for us in the tackling position then, same situation, we're gonna step into contact, we want same leg, same shoulder, when we fit into the person here so that when we come with the opposite leg and bring the hips, which is all of our power, we're knocking them back. So fundamentally, that's what we're trying to get to in that position. All right, trying to bite the ball, get on that, finish, first step contract, wrap up, you know, uh, grab the arm. So that's all inline stuff, okay, inline stuff, okay. Open field, all right, or space, now we're trying to close that distance. We're trying to basically get to the ball to establish, we want to maintain leverage, get into the near shoulder, all right, the inside shoulder relationship, which is now putting us in a position where if the ball carrier is here, I'm going to have my inside or near foot, all right, to his near shoulder, so that as I close that space and I get to that one yard distance where I now step into contact, here, I'm same shoulder, same leg. I'll show you that on film also. All right, so that's all about closing that space, getting into that position, and basically getting into what we call press position which is about 10 yards all right away from the man look it's depending on the athlete all right in all those situations sometimes you got defensive guys that just look they just tackle then look don't mess with them let them tackle all right as coaches we tend to screw those guys up a lot more than we coach them so if the guy's really good at something just take the credit for it and let him do what he's doing so all right, we're trying to get to that 10 yard come to balance. All right, we call it like a scallop position where we can get in and now we can scallop into that guy with good leverage, get to that inline tackling position and go. Position and go. All right, points of emphasis. All right, a lot of times, look, I'm going to tell my guys, look, when you feel ready to take your shot, take your shot. All right, don't go hesitantly into a tackle. You're not going to bring the force, you're not going to bring the power. And the other thing that we'll emphasize is look, we got great hustle, great swarm, great pursuit. Everybody's getting to the ball. You take your shot. Look, you miss, everybody else is coming. Okay, everybody else is coming, they're going to finish it up for you, so let's make sure we take our shot. See the ball, all right, I'm definitely trying to get the head out of the tackle, all right, I think right now in the sport, especially at our level, you know, if you look at the technology of the sport, the helmets, they're like made, these things weigh like 20 pounds, like they're all, like the guys, you know, they think they're invincible. Nobody wears shoulder pads, which like you're supposed to tackle with your shoulder, so why don't you put some pads on so you can hit somebody, all right, and like get the head out of there, but point of emphasis for us, trying to make sure we see the ball, all right, so that we can go bite the ball and keep the head out of it. I want the head out of the tackle, all right? Okay, again, understanding and use of leverage, making sure you understand where your help is. Is it sideline help? Is it the other guy that's coming with you? Are you talking to the guy? Are you in and in, out, out, out? What's your leverage help there? All right, make sure you understand all that. And then, you know, what are the moves of the opponent? One of the biggest ones we see, all right, is the stiff arm. I think the stiff arm, if you're an offensive coach, is a great, great thing to coach those guys. It's such a shock to the defensive guys. If they don't know how to defend it, all right, you're going to be able to get them. They're either going to be in a bad tackling position or you're going to break a tackle and go. So we see a lot of that. We work on it, the stiff arm, and how to break that down and get to a tackling position. position. All right, so the drills, I'll go through what we got here. I'll put a bunch on here. I just want to get to them. 
All right, so you guys can see them. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the sled. And again, you can see the sled right here. This is a very low sled. It's a heavy sled. It's weighted. It's bent. It's really low. All right, this is one of my big fat guys right here. It's like a 300 pounder. All right, and look, I don't care who you are. You got to bend down. You got to get up underneath it. You got to drive them with the head up. All right, and we're trying to get into this relationship. All right, that you can see right there. So there's the same leg, same shoulder, hip position. All right, that's where we want to be. That's our fit right there. The head is up, and we're driving them. All right, vertical the other way. You're going to see him bring the leg around. He's going to bring the other leg across. Bring the hands up and through, wrap up, all right, and drive the sled. We're trying to drive it out of there, all right, and that's with a lot of force. It's a big guy right there tackling, but you can see him. Look, we're working on the bend. This is a low bag. We're trying to get up underneath it. He's opening up. He's crossing over. Same leg, same shoulder, wrap up, drive the sled back, and then... Look, the big guys, they don't really like doing this very much. We do tackling and turnover every day. We do a circuit drill, start practice right after they're done stretching. I do it every day. I make them do it. All right, they get into it. They don't like it. They get all angry and pissed off, which is good because that's how I want it practice to be. And then they start throwing the bag around and, and yelling, which is fine. That's okay. All right, again, same thing. Open up, cross over, really try to bend, get up underneath the bag. All right, D lineman, D N, safeties. This is Duran. He works, you know, really hard at tackling, all right, especially in space. But again, you can see him open up. So again, just a single man sled. A lot of the same thing. You can see how low that is. You can see how far they got to bend. But again, what you see about the head is the head is always finishing up. I want the head up. I don't want the head down. If the head goes down, you take a knee to the head. They push the head to the ground. It's going to be a broken tackle. The kid's going to get hurt. All right, I want the head up. Again, now this is um, our one of our defensive linemen, Alan Branch. I mean, I'm hoping he weighs like 375 right here. It's probably not, but you can see, look, it's open up. It's the same technique. He's doing it just like everybody else. He's bending down, he's getting up, and he's driving the sled all right through. Again, just a lot of the same. Everybody does it. Everybody goes through the drill, okay? All the safeties, Devin McCourty, Pat Chung, all right, Malcolm Butler, open it up, same thing. Head across, up, wrap up, finish. We want to be strong, short tacklers. All right, Dante Hightower, same thing. Now, here's a good look at my rookie last year, one of my rookie linebackers, and you know, he's trying to learn the drill. So this is, you know, a little side shot right here. The good thing, I don't think the laser works on here, but the good thing about this drill is you can see there's two marks, all right, on the grass. Those, that's the, bird, or the parallel lines of where the sled was. It really gives us a good marker of his feet. You see how far across he stepped the bag. He didn't go down the middle of the bag, he stepped all the way across. Okay, well look, this running back is gonna swipe him by, he's gonna cut back across it, and he's gonna go, because he's not fit. All right, through the middle of the man. So he oversteps it, now he crosses over, and basically he's in hopefully an arm tackle with the guy, but if that's a good back, all right, that's not really gonna cut it. So you can definitely see the foot placement, all right, there. So make him do it again. Now you can see the step is more down the midline of the bag and it's driving straight through. All right, the next one right here, this is Jonathan Freeney. He's one of our linebackers, special teams player for a very good tackler, okay, but you can see you can see the step there and the difference in the step on the bag of where he's got it down the midline, wrapping up with the arms, the hip explosion and the power. All right, that's going to be a strong tackle right there. Again, biting the ball, trying to be aggressive, okay, trying to be in good shape. There's a young Pat Graham for you right there, coach. All right, so we got him on film. All right, so look, this is Vince, great player for us. So all of our players do it. All right, again, they don't like to do it. They get a little bit of mad. All right, so then they knock the bag over, drill's over, and you got to go to the next drill. You just let it go. Just don't even argue with it. Just get to the next drill. All right, all right, so this is now closing the space. So this is what we call our scallop position. You can see here, one of our safeties, Jordan uh, Richardson, you can see the leg, inside leg is up. He's basically scalloping into position. Again, we give it a 10-yard marker. It might be seven, might be five, depends on the athletic ability of your player all right, and the running back he's going against. But you can see him scallop in, close that distance to get to that one yard, and now here comes the shoulder, and you can see the drive and the force, the leg, the pop, the head come up and through, the wrap up, and just the, all the power that's coming with the tackle. And again, we're finishing up and through on these tackles. We're trying to tackle strong we're trying to tackle through the man all right we're not going low on any of these you can see it all all right everybody scallops in everybody practices it you can see there's malcolm coming in inside legs up near shoulder when you get into that fifth position then trying to finish square on the back high tower Again, different guys, Hyde, now Hyde's got this huge wingspan, so he's just going to engulf some smaller backs, all right, but again, just trying to be in a good fit position where we're delivering that jab right there, and then the next step is really kind of the, you know, roundhouse punch to knock him out. So that's a bag drill, we do that every day, all right, pads, no pads, we're doing that, trying to work on our technique there. Now, there, now, a couple other drills just to work on it, to keep it moving. This is basically a tempo drill right here, so we're trying to stay inside out on the ball. 
We're going to bite the ball here. All right, you can see the uh, defender. He's basically inside out. The ball carrier can cut it in any gap. All right, and now he's just running through, and he's trying to bite the ball. And then we want him to drive his legs out of the hole. So again, a little bit of better tempo to the play. Ball's now on the outside, so now the head's got to come across. You can see the step through, and we're just driving the legs out. A little bit of a different view for you right here. But again, there's the hat on the ball. We're wrapping up, and you can see the leg drive all right, out of the hole. We're trying to get these guys to go backwards. Another drill now. Now again, we do this as a circuit drill to get warmed up. We're just trying to get the guys going. So again, over the bag, come back, find the ball, bite the ball right there, just drive them out and try to just work that little hip pop all right, right there, get it going. Again, all the guys, here's Vince, some older film right there, wrap it up. There's a skinny me up there in a hoodie. All right, and then again, biting the ball, driving through with the legs. And you can really see, you know, again, the big guys, just the, I mean, that's another big guy he's hitting, but the power and the force that they're generating right there as they're knocking those guys back. You're just trying to train the body, all right, to do that as we're going through. We're going through. Now, okay, so this one, this is, this is my new one from, from this year. So uh, I'm, I've been on, like, if anybody has this piece of equipment, let me know. I've been looking for this thing for, like, four years. If you watch any old school, like, 1980s, like, you know, NFL football film, you'll see the old school practice. This guy's got a shoot. He's got the bag on the shoot and a piston thing, and he lets it go, and the bag goes flying at the guy. They wrap it up. They got to drive it, lock it back in. There's probably a lawsuit in there somewhere. I'm sure that's why they went away. So, all right, this is the closest thing I could find. I took this drive shoot, which is, I think, an offensive piece of equipment, so obviously not doing anything. And it's basically a hanging bag with some, with some tension, all right, tension bands at the top of it. So what we did is I made my D-line coach, because I couldn't pull it back. So I made my D-line coach pull it all the way back, and he's going to get it to a position. My guy, my defensive players are going to, they're basically going to scallop through into the chute, and then I'm going to launch this thing at them, and then they got to drive it back. Again, we're just trying to get to a position where they feel comfortable with some force and some power, wrapping up, sinking the hips, driving it through, and then running it back up. Now, you got to get the right tension bands, because if you go a little bit too strong, some of you guys might get knocked down. It's a little bit embarrassing. So, you know, really try to, but I think it was just a kind of a change up for us to get that drive and try to simulate some contact. Devin McCourty right there driving through, you know, one of our best tacklers. So, best tackler. So, a couple of things there just to work the hips and the drive. All right. A couple other things, you know, other drills, things to kind of throw at them, keep it moving, keep it changing. This is basically a heel tackle. So there's going to be times or positions where, look, everything's not perfect from a tackling standpoint. You're going to wind up in different positions, and all you want them to do is basically be able to make a play when they have to. So this particular drill right here is, could be, all right, look, we just got beat on a play. All right, ball's in front of us. We're running down. We're going to try to, you know, clip the heel, knock them down before they score. Or, all right, uh, Devin right here, you can see him practicing on the donut. All right, uh, dives through. He's got a, a toss play, runs through you know, knocks the guy's heel uh, underneath the block and gets a tackle for a loss. So it comes up in different situations. We use two different bags to do it on. The red bag actually at the top, you can see Pat Chung hitting that one. I'll also use that one for like a gator tackle. I'll just put it down, I'll slide it, I'll make them spring out, wrap it and roll. So the gator tackle, try to practice that, if, you know, if that comes up. But again, you can see Devin, he's launched out, he's got full extension, the hand is out, and he's trying to swipe as hard as he can, all right, to really, you gotta get that heel across to knock him down. So another drill for you right there. You can see it kind of run everybody through all right, right there again. Heel tackle. You don't know when that's going to come up. Going to come up. All right, so these guys right here. All right, so all of our guys, again, we go through the circuit. This is a stiff arm drill, okay? Break down the stiff arm. So, all right, how do you do the stiff arm? Stiff arm's coming at you. Again, the rule with the stiff arm is you're allowed to hit the guy. They're allowed to put it out, put it on. They can't grab the face or turn or any of that stuff, even though they do it in the Super Bowl. They don't call it, okay? But that's okay. All right, they're allowed to hit the face mask. And the whole idea is when they do that, you can't get into them. You can't get to that body relationship. So how do we defend it? We teach all the kids right here, all right, when it comes out at us we're trying to swipe the arm down okay we're naturally going to swipe the arm down so the next move by that arm is going to be up and through the armpit and now we're back into that near shoulder near leg position and now the head comes across we bite the ball and we follow through and we finish on top of the guy Logan Ryan does a great job of it he sees a lot of it as a DB out in the perimeter but you can see him really chopping the arm right there and now the arm comes back up and through the armpit the head is across he's biting the ball and now he wraps up and drives through all right, this is Malcolm Butler. You can see on this one, Malcolm, he comes and he tries to swipe the arm out, okay? Well, it's really hard to hit the arm like this and tackle, and he doesn't really get it, all right? So he doesn't really close the separation right there, and now you can see his fit 
was really the hat on his rib. He didn't have that sink that uh, Logan had on the previous clip. So we make him do it again. All right, and you can see now he swipes it down, and now you see how much tighter all right, he's fit on that tackle. That means he's got a chance to now drive and knock that guy back. Look, these plays happen. It's third and two. We can't give up two yards. That guy can't fall forward. We've got to knock him back. It's third and one. They throw the ball out there or our corners. They're in you know, some sort of cloud force. It's a position uh, situation you know, that comes up. They've got to make strong tackles. So all these guys got to learn it. We run them through the drills. You, know, you can see them. These guys are good at it. Sometimes the arm gets pinned. doesn't matter. We're just trying to break it down so we can get that shoulder back into position all right, on the man and then get our head across and bite the ball. All right, cup ball drills, these are easy. You know, throw the cup ball out there. It's hard on the coach. Get a good workout in. Won't be able to walk the next day. Your back's all tight. All right, so throw the ball out there. Play the cup ball. You know, try to come with some force. Coming at the ball carry right there. Just trying to pop the hips. All right, ball carry, be ready. All right, and just try to drive through. Just give him a little punch right there. So easy drill. Again, you're trying to change it up. Defensive lineman, you close the space. If it's a space player, you open it up. Get him out there so he can drive through the tackles. Through the tackles. All right, same principle, but now we're working escapes, trying to get off blocks, trying to finish. We just tie him up, get off, pull him through, and now we've got to find the guy again, wrap up, bite the ball, wrap him up, bring the hips, just working the little fundamentals right there. So again, just keeping it moving so it doesn't get stale is important. All right, changing the drills day to day. Now, day to day. Now, these tackling donuts, I don't know if you guys have used those at all. These are really good. There's a lot of different things you can do, especially, you know, like at our level, we can't be in pads all the time, so we can do a lot of work on the tackling donuts. This is a great one. Our line coach has uh, going with our one of our, it's our young defensive lineman defensive tackle right here all right if you couldn't tell by the backside profile he is he is not a safety all right so he's going to get extension he's going to get off the bag and he's just this is just a 100 percent take your shot drive through the bag all right and get it down to the ground this is a 350 pounder all right running through a back the donuts, you can do a lot of things with them in space. You can roll them. They can chase them. You can do them. One of the ones I like to do with the donuts, I don't have it on film, is I just roll it at them head on. All right? All I want to see is the guys. I want to see them come up. I want to see them wrap it up. I want to see them sink their hips in and pick the donut up. Again, it's an upward finishing all right, on the donut, and it's really there's no collision. There's nothing involved in it. It's an easy drill to do. This is a great one right here. We fit them into the sled. We jack the sled up. We get extension, get separation, find the ball carrier, drive through, head across on the ball, come with full power extension. We're trying to knock them back right there. There, knock them back right there, run our feet. So that's a good look at it. All right, working into some space tackles and some leverage positions right here. All right, Chad, I'm going long. You're going to have to deal with it, okay? All right, so look, these guys are dropping out into space. It's really all about leveraging the ball here. You see Malcolm catches it and trying to keep the ball on your shoulders. One guy's in, one guy's out, and just trying to cage it up. All right, again, a lot of these plays happen out in space, check down, situations like that. Now, um, the point of emphasis of this for me is just maintaining leverage. It's not really uh, emphasizing getting into a fit or follow through. I want just we're working leverage, working small little details of the tackle. All right, so some of my guys, my older guys, you can see Devin, he's trying to work a punch. All right, while he's working his leverage, he's trying to knock the ball out. But again, we're just trying to work space, trying to get him out, trying to you know give him a couple moves there. You can see Devin give him something, try to get those guys all right to basically bite on it and then try to out leverage him. All right, do it with all of them, and we go. Now, other guy landing, the young guy working the punch gets it out right there. All right, everybody gets mad. So gets mad. So again, tackling, we work on it every day. There's a couple drills for you right there. All right, fundamentally, all right, what we're teaching. All right, everybody good on that? Questions on that? All right, great. We're going to turnovers. Okay. Again, turnovers. Number one stat, help us win games. All right, it's a mentality. You got to attack the ball, attack the ball, attack the ball. Look, we got a lot of, you know, um, even this past year, early in the year, weren't getting turnovers, weren't, you know, things just weren't happening for us. All right, turnovers are so critical of the game. So, look, there's things you can do in practice, like, you know, tell the defense, hey, you got to bring the ball back to me after every play. You got to get it off the running back. I don't care what you do. You got to bring it back to me. Otherwise, you know, we're doing up downs, we're doing a lap, we're going to run the play over. Then you go tell the running back, hey, look, don't let them get the ball off. I'll get you 10 bucks each time they don't do it so that there's a little bit of competition right there and they can't be, you know, brother in law with each other. I don't know if you guys can do that. I don't pay anybody. We're good. Okay, all right. So, look, it's a mentality, awareness, rel relentless pursuit, all right, to get to the ball. Strip, strip and punch, quarterback. We'll talk about all these. I'll show you. I think it's better just off the film. Again, we use the bags as part of the warm up. This is basically just going over the bags, coming back, change of direction, all right, giving them the big guys, especially. Look, a lot of times the ball is down. Okay, there's two situations. Is it down in traffic? Is it down in space? If it's down in space and you've got a clear recovery, then bend down, two hands, 
and pick it up, okay? That's hard for a lot of the big guys. They don't get all the way down there, you know what I mean? Then that's when you see them just bat it, and then somebody else bats it, and then the offensive guy recovers it, and I go crazy on the sideline because we didn't get it. Some of those are in traffic. The ball's around a lot of people, and they dive on it. you got to curl up. That's another one you can do there. So, again, just working these guys' movement skills, bending down, picking up the ball. All right, start them off easy. Depends if the guy's working hard in practice or not. If he's a rookie or not, it might be a little bit harder on him. All right, but, again, just trying to get him to move, move on command, find the ball, bend down, pick it up. But if it's a rookie, again, you want to fire it at him a little bit harder. Sometimes you're just having a bad day. So good little drill to mix in there All right, as you're going through practice. Practice. Uh, this is a second man in strip drill. So this just basically simulates first guy is going to go in, wrap him up. All right, he secured the tackle. It's really all about the second guy. Second guy is going in, attacking the ball, pulling it out. And again, these drills don't have to be, you know, full force violent drills. You're just trying to work the intricacies, all right, of what they're doing. Attacking the fingers, pulling it out. All right, so. You know, linebackers, sometimes they get a little testy. So I got Gerard Mayo, who's giving a stiff arm to Gary because they had gotten mad at the meeting at each other. So now Gary's mad, and, you know, we're working. Finally, we get the rip out there, so Gary gives him a little shove. You know, that stuff happens. That's all right. It happens. That's all right. All right, quarterback strip drill. You know, we incorporate this with either pick, some of the stunts we're running that week, you know, trying to pick the center here and this. There's that double A gap look you guys saw earlier. All right, working some picks. But again, this is all about trying to get to the quarterback, attacking through the pocket, coming with that tomahawk, that chop move, which we do, all right, and try to teach. And that really can come up in any situation. And then the next guy going in the situation where he, you know, recovers the fumble. Another variation, again, just trying to get these guys off level, make one guy do an up down so the other guy's out in front. Now he gets the strip, and again, the second guy is trying to scoop and score. So again, point of emphasis, attacking the football, hopefully the quarterback squeezing the ball a little bit, putting it out there. Here's Logan Ryan. This is a good look at Logan, securing the tackle with the left arm, coming down with that right arm through the pocket, trying to turn it over, uh, and the next man's scooping and scoring right there. Again, same situation right there, secure the tackle, coming from behind, and then we'll work it. Again, the scoop and score there, the picks, a lot of the same, a lot of the same. Try to get it from the front side. Again, it might be that situation where he's got it, and the backside guy, all of a sudden the ball appears and he's got to get it. This is another one we just do on the pop-up. Again, this is just trying to, again, knock it off the top of the bag so we're not hitting everybody all the time. All right, and then the next man's hopefully, you know, scooping it off the ground. So another way to get it, again, point of emphasis, attacking the ball with the quarterback, all right, getting it off, fumble recovery and go. Recovery and go. Uh, this is just basically a tip drill. All right, so now we're defeating the blocks. This may be a three-step throw by the offense, you know, something coming out quick, coming through the middle of the line of scrimmage, all right, where the ball's being tipped. All right, or deflected, and then the second man's working on, obviously, high point. You can see the vertical right there is impressive. <laughs> Credit card maybe two underneath that. I think that's about it. So, <clears throat> again, <clears throat> again. All right, another drill we do off the tip drill. This is really important for us. You know, when the ball is tipped by a, by a defender, all right, then really, you know, the good news for us is the receivers become live. Okay, so now we get to go... Uh, <clears throat> hit him as hard as we want. So we just worked the drill where the guy goes in front. We're trying to knock the hell out of the receiver right there so that we've had, I've had too many plays where the ball got tipped. I think we're in good shape. And then the receiver runs behind it, catches it. My defenders are laying on the ground, and then the guy just scores a touchdown. It's ridiculous. So again, where the ball's tipped, someone's assigned to go knock out the receiver. The next guy's going up and high pointing the ball. All right, I don't want everybody going up for the ball, and then we knock each other off, and we go from there. So again, just a little drill to do with the pop-up, all right, so that we can work on the tip, run through, high point, and we're going. This, and we're going. This is actually one of my drills here that I really like. This kind of works a bunch of different facets of it. All right, we've got three guys out. I'm going to throw the ball to one of the guys on the edge. All right, everybody's pedaling. The ball comes, or excuse me, they've got uh, throw to the edge guy. All right, the guy in the middle is trying to drive in front of that. He's the defender. He's going to break it up. All right, the guys on the outside start off as the offensive players. He drives through. He picks it off. Now the ball turns the other way. So now my defender, he turns. Uh, the outside guys turn into the defenders, and now they're trying to go through, strip the ball out, and then the next guy, he's in charge of scooping and recovering the ball. So again, just kind of incorporating a whole bunch of drills there. All right, pedal and out, break on the throw. All right, read the quarterback, break on the throw, catch the ball. Next guy comes in, he's in charge of stripping, get the ball out, next guy's in charge of recovering. So kind of a three-man little deal right there, little deal right there. 
Uh, and the last one here on the turnovers, our INT drill. I uh, spent a lot of time on this, deep balls, high points, all right, situations where the ball's up in the air, going up in the air, getting it, and then teaching, all right, basically from this point. So one of the things we put a point of emphasis on is, look, if you get an interception, all right, the number one guy that makes the tackle on an, on an interception uh, is who? Anybody know? I heard it. The intended receiver. It's the guy closest to the ball, right? Logical, okay? So look, the intended receiver is usually the guy that makes the tackle. He's running down. All right, look, honestly, like we picked the ball off. Like there's five of those guys, well, six really counting the quarterback, that really probably shouldn't be anywhere near the INT, right? So we only got to block a couple of them. All right, go for the fast ones, okay? We'll beat the other guys. Block the fast ones. The receivers are usually the fast ones. So our whole point of emphasis here is we're going to go up, we're going to play the ball, we're going to pick it off, and then we're going to try to block, all right, the guys in the deep part of the field. I got this one up in here. Again, you got to be ready. This is Rob Ninkovich in the middle here dropping off into coverage. All right, we throw it to him, you know, just checking his hands. He's got pretty good hands. And again, we're trying to score. We're trying to bring that thing all the way back. So again, just, you know, look, we do pursuit off of this too. We'll throw the ball to the outside all right, and go. But you can see right here, you know, that's Jordan running to go block the bag. All right, that's the intended receiver. All right, they're coming back to the intended receiver, and then it's get the ball to the sideline, get up the sideline and score. All right, so that's kind of our INT drill, INT drill, all right, right there. All right, stopping the run. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to come back to this. I want to get to the high point, all right, and some deep ball work here. All right, if we've got some time, we'll come back to that uh, at the end. All right. Ball skills. I think this stuff is really important. All right, playing the ball. All right, how we teach this. Uh, one of the things we talk about a couple different things when we're trying to play the ball. All right? I, what's amazing when we get some of these guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys have this problem or not, but you know, I, I tell them like, all right, DBs, how many guys play baseball? It's like no one. I'm like, how many? Anybody shag fly balls? Like no one. They have such a hard time judging. You know, the deep ball, it's amazing to me. I mean, like, you're a little kid. You went out, you hit pop flies all the time. Go catch them. All right? They struggle with this. So we really have to spend a lot of time on it. There's two different things we talk about. One is in phase. One is out of phase. Okay? In phase for us, all right, means that now we're running with the receiver. We're shoulder to shoulder. All right? We're in line with that guy. We're in phase with him. When we're in an in phase position, all right, as a defensive back, I tell those guys, hey, look, you're the wide receiver. All right, at that point, when his eyes go up, your eyes go up, you go play the ball. You have the liability to play the ball. So we're going to wedge him out, we're going to jump into him, we're going to go up or high point it, uh, we're going to go make a play. The other thing we have then is out of phase, which means that that guy is beating you, and now you're behind him. All right, so you're running, okay, you're trying to catch up. If you're out of phase, you are not allowed to turn back for the ball. You turn back for the ball, all right, number one, you're losing ground. He's going to beat you if it's a deep ball. Number two, all right, like all wide receivers do, he's going to push you, right? He's going to push you. It's not going to get called, and he's going to create even more separation. So you can't do that. If you're out of phase, you got to run, and now we're playing the hands. Hands go up. We play with the same or that near shoulder. We're not trying to reach across. We're not trying to swipe down and help that guy, all right? who's a really good guy that can catch the ball, catch it, all right, and bring it into it. We're trying to go up and through the pocket because we can reach farther with the hand here. And then we're ripping the arm down. All right, I'll show you a couple of those. So, again, in phase, out of phase. All right, so, look, we've got a couple of different – I went to the archives here. Archives here. All right, we've got a couple of different drills, all right, that we do. A lot of it's footwork drills. We'll get going. This is basically what we call, like, an inch technique, working some man-to-man -man coverage. This is Tlaib. All right, he's basically in front of the guy, and what he's trying to do is basically just get out of it, stay square, stay in front of him. We put the boards there, all right, because if you watch, watch a lot of guys that do man-to-man -man coverage, the first thing every DB does, all right, is they do what? They split their feet. They, they get them really wide because the wide receiver did something like this to them, which I guess is really hard to, you know, so you just split your feet. All right, what happens is body mechanics and the way the body works, if you do this, okay, in order to move in either direction, the first thing you have to do with one of your feet, foot, feet, all right, I'm an engineer, so I'm not a, I'm 800 math, 450 verbal, okay, all right, is you got to step inside yourself, all right, to move. If you step inside yourself to move, that guy's got you by two steps, you're beat. Okay, you're beat. So we're trying to keep the feet underneath you. We're trying to keep them tight. We're trying to keep the boards there. And then we just add in, we get to the end of the boards, you know, a zone turn in there. We give them a little key. Uh, we have different rules and things that we can do with balls and, you know, all that stuff. So there's a man turn coming out of it. And again, you know, try to find the ball and go, and go. 
All right, short board drill, this is for us. We play a lot of press man, we're up at the line of scrimmage, all right? So we're basically working all the guys and we're just giving them a visual key and trying to work their feet, all right? The second from the left right there, that's Logan Ryan. He's got great feet, all right? He's got great feet, you'll see him. There's no false steps, he's very smooth with his feet. Malcolm Butler's the second from the right. He's a little bit, uh, he's, it's a couple years ago, he's a little bit new at it, but again, he's got some pretty good feet to recover, but you can see him, all right? They both like inside move, you can see those two, they step, they take it away. Working that, and now outside of release, they're trying to squ stay square and run the guy down the line of scrimmage. Down the line of scrimmage. Okay, then we take it and we put him in some longer boards. So that's our short board drill, and then we put him in some longer boards to work the punch. Excuse me. All right, the whole point of this drill is being able to move laterally down the line of scrimmage, all right, and then punch the back. So the guy's on the edge, they're dead. It's the guy that's in the middle, he's live, all right, he's really the live part of this drill. What we're trying to do with this, this is Logan again, we're trying to get him to slide all the way down to where that bag is when the coach flashes it, and then punch straight. What we don't want to do is punch across our body. Once you punch across your body, a guy grab your elbow, you know, release you and get by. So we're really trying to work him out. You can see he's in line with the shoulder and the punch. He's in front of it. He works himself all the way out. He doesn't get lazy with his feet or tired and start reaching. This is Malcolm. All right, Malcolm does a good job on these. Malcolm's got long arms. The punch is a little bit different. He gets all the way out, but as it gets going, you can see him start to slow down with his feet, and now he starts reaching across his body. So as we evaluate it right there, that's bad. We're in a bad position right there. We want to be square and in front of that punch. Again, the biggest thing with the jams, men, is you can't overextend. You got to be short punched. You got to be in here in the frame of the work. If you extend or lean too much, all right, give that guy an edge, then he's going to go by you there. By you there. All right, we do a lot of this with the big bags, do a lot of drills of just getting these guys comfortable to catching the ball, all right, around traffic. Again, lose vision, come back through. But these are the picks that we gotta be able to make. We gotta be comfortable coming through the bag, playing with our hands, driving through, catching the ball, all right, in tough situations. So we do it in short space, we make them spin out, come through, lose vision, find the ball. Again, we're just trying to work ball skills the best we can. We open it up a little bit more, and we're just trying to throw it at the bag. That's all we're doing. <coughs> We'll drive them out, bring them back. Again, Malcolm, Logan, two of my better guys, drive them through, catch the ball, catch the ball. All right, this is another high point drill right here. All right, I'm sure you'll be able to get your guys to do this one as good as this one is right here. But we're basically just trying to throw it up where he gets comfortable all right, going up and around a bag, okay, or those, you know, Malcolm, who's a, a, you know, plays a lot bigger than he is. He's got to play against some of the taller wide receivers. Those guys go up. He's got to have great body control, but just getting him comfortable, all right, of fully extending around, you know, someone around his feet. We do it around the bag so we're not worried about, you know, guys getting tangled with their legs and tying up and things like that. You know, one of the rules that we have in practice that I think is uh, really good in the way that we teach it is the, the point of emphasis of the period, okay? So if it's an offensive period and we get in a situation where there's a, a, a jump ball, high ball situation, then you're good as a defender. You're good to play that thing all the way through, okay, till you get to the point where you got to go up and make the play. If it's an offensive period, then the offensive guy goes up and he plays the ball. You get yourself out of the way. If it's a defensive period, then the defensive guy goes up. He high points it. The offensive guy, all right, he gets out of the way. Just so you don't have that two guys going up, coming down, tangling legs, and somebody getting hurt. Gives them confidence, too, that they know, hey, look, he's going to get away from me. I can go up and just focus on trying to make the play. Okay, we do a lot of drills, again, high point, all right, in phase. So again, this is in phase. We're shoulder to shoulder, the ball's up, the receiver's looking. Now I look back, I can go up, I become the receiver, I play the ball in the air. Again, these drills don't got to be 40 yards long. Just keep it in a short space. You're just working this. You can see we're trying to wedge the wide receiver. We're jumping into him. If you jump forward, again, he's pushing you, he's leaning on you. You got to get some force into him and still be able to jump up, all right, and make the play right there. All right, man-to-man, -man, this is just a trail drill we do. Again, these are all individual periods. We're working against each other. All right, other. All right, different coverage where now we're really kind of underneath the man. This is just a partner drill. You go up. When he slows down, you slow down. The biggest thing with our trail technique that will get these guys to understand is this. Look, to the quarterback, all right, that guy's taking a seven-step drop. He's eight yards deep, seven yards deep in the pocket, okay? It's a 15-yard route downfield, in cut, 12, 14, whatever it is, all right? You're in a trail position. All right, you've got 23 yards of separation between you, the quarterback, plus about 6,000 pounds of flesh in between, right? Look, you can give yourself some space. All right, we have a saying, it's called play with patience, not panic. A lot of DBs in this situation, they panic. All right, where do they want to be? They want to be right up next to the guy right here, okay, because when he moves, I got to move. 
All right, well, look, if you're there or there, the guy that's 23 yards over there, he doesn't know the difference. So put yourself in a position now where you can actually read his hips and get down into a leverage position where you can undercut all right, and move with him. So it's just a partner drill. We'll run through it all right, so those guys can just get work on trailing and undercutting all right, and being patient in that situation. In that situation. All right, we do a lot of work with the wide receivers. We do release drills all the time. Again, we'll work on the different techniques. All right, we'll get with those guys. It's a short space drill. Again, this is just our inch technique. We're trying to stay in front of them, stay square. All right, give ground a little bit and then put ourselves in a, you know, in phase position right there. All right, Malcolm, Julian going at it. All right, this is an outside leverage position where now we're defending the outside. We're not giving them the release. We're forcing them back in. And again, you can see us open up, crossover punch, put ourselves in phase or trail, all right, to put ourselves in a position to break. Defending the inside. Again, you can see the inside foot never moves. He's never really threatened for the inside release. Now he goes outside, all right. Wide receivers swiping the outside arm, but there goes the jam right there with the hand. Nice and patient in the move. Now we're in phase right there. So just some small drills to work releases. All right, again, they get competitive. So, you know, Malcolm, Julian going at it. It's a good punch right there. That's the drill we're doing on the bags you saw before. Comes back with the other hand. Bang, right there. Drill's over. Those are the ones I like. Again, outside release. Good jam. Put them in phase. All right, and now we're going. Again, just we do these every day, trying to defend, stay in front. Jam again, flatten them down, just working on our punching, trying to get used. You can see this one's trying to give us the outside release, come back in. All right, you can see the corner, then he's really into flatten mode right there. Can't let him across your body. All right, good position, good jam. Again, another inch, staying in front, staying square, just battling a little bit, but putting ourselves in a position all right, to react. All right, overcommit, this is what happens. So now we get high, or you can see the punch isn't as good, or the legs cross over right there where we haven't really made contact with the wide receiver. All right, now we get ourselves in a situation where that guy all right, can come underneath us again. All right, working the jams, just kind of running through them with the guys. Nothing major, but again, working on those fundamental techniques. This is real techniques. This is really a, a release to a trail position, undercut. Another trail, undercut position, reading the shoulders. Again, this is top of the route work. All right, so again, there's really kind of three phases to the, to the route as a defensive guy. There's line of scrimmage, okay? There's top of the route, and then there's finish. So those are kind of the three phases we work. Line of scrimmage you saw, top of the route right here, and then the finish with the high point playing through the pocket, all that stuff. Look, the stems, the route itself, like that's all part of it, but you're going to run with that. All right, those other three phases you can drill all right, every single day at practice, whether it's with the DBs or not. You can see there's a bad undercut right there. All right, the receiver got him. All right, all right. top of the route, in phase. All right, in phase, out of phase. So again, we do the drill with the wide receivers right here, or we do it against each other. Make it a point of emphasis. It's a defensive point of emphasis in phase. So you see right there, it's a nine route. He's running in phase. He's shoulder to shoulder. All right, the receiver's eyes go up. Now my eyes go back. I'm the receiver. I go up, high point, make the play. All right, I run the route as if I am the receiver there. Again, same situation here. Work on the line of scrimmage. Jam, in phase, get your eyes back, wedge the guy out. All right, go attack the ball there, ball there. Again, this is one of the hardest ones right here, and this happens a lot. This play right here goes from in phase to out of phase, back into phase, all right? And you've got to be able to transition. This is the hardest one to handle. So we kind of bail out, trying to stay in phase. We're in phase right there. We transition, all right, but all of a sudden now he runs by us. So now we're out of phase. So Devin, he's hauling ass. He's trying to get caught up, all right? If he stays out of phase, he's going to play up and through the pocket with the near arm, all right? Now at this point, he realizes that the throw, whatever the case may be, he's caught the guy. He's back in phase. So now once he's in phase, he's allowed to commit to looking at the ball. He's going to go up and play the ball. If the ball is thrown a little bit far in front of him, then he's still going to play it with that near arm, all right, which you'll see right here as he comes through. He's battling with that near arm, and you can see him swipe it out of the pocket. But he basically went from in phase to out of phase, back into phase, and he has to transition his mentality with that so that he doesn't, you know, again, we want to be in phase, we want to be looking back, so when the quarterback throws it, that we don't run into him and get a penalty, all right? One of three bad things. So again, high points, working the deep balls, again, accelerating high point, going up and get it. You know, we just, we do these drills all the time, drills all the time. These are called long balls. These are ones we do, you know, that these are the 40 yard drills right there. We're really trying to push the ball downfield 
uh, and work kind of that final stage, final stage. Again, stacks, we'll work on this too. You can see a couple of different of the techniques come into effect here. You can see Malcolm, who's on the line of scrimmage, jamming the receiver. So he's putting himself, he's working his line of scrimmage work. That's a dead route right there. And then the other guy really should be looking to undercut. He doesn't get to it and put himself into that trail position. It's football, it gets a little physical. All right, again, line of scrimmage, we want to jam. We're working into a trail right there. You can see 24 puts himself into the trail. It's the same drill, partner drill we were doing before. He's in good position. And again, transition there with the uh, shorter route at the goal line, and we're coming through. And we're coming through. So again, inside against is loud. All right, so these are just a couple plays where you can kind of, I'm going to go through some tape here a little bit and show kind of the point of emphasis as far as some of the things that. You know, we just talked about one is tackling. Who is a guy that uh, we'll have to keep an eye on tonight? And it's right there. It's about finishing we'll through the through the tackle, Let's bringing the hips, all right, and winding up on top of the guy. Of so these are inline tackles. That's the sled drill right there, driving through them, finishing on top. Same thing here, running through, running our feet. You can see the feet on contact, and we're running through, and we always want to finish on top. We call it dropping weight, trying to drop weight on those guys and make them tired getting up. But again, it doesn't always, you know, look, you don't know when it's going to come up, but again, we're trying to attack the ball, we're trying to run our legs, and we're trying to finish on top. All right, this one's Malcolm. You can see Malcolm all the way up at the top. He's in a forced corner position. You can see him defeat the block, comes in, fits in right there, and he's attacking the ball. He's bringing his hips. He's wrapping them up, and we're finishing on top. So again, those are in lines. He went from a space to in line, all right, back into the position. Now this is tied into the defeating blocks. We didn't get to this. All right, you can see great extension right here. All right, Trey Flowers down here at the bottom. Great extension, gets rid of the man. But there's bite the ball, wrap him up, pick him up, and drive him through. All right, those are really good tackling positions. All right, some of the rest of this is reading the quarterback, breaking, attacking on the routes. You know, these are just things that we do tackling right here where we're reading, breaking, trying to bite the ball, bring our legs through, getting those violent tackles that come across the middle. Here's another one with Malcolm driving into space, trying to bite the ball, get into it. You know, those are good, strong tackles. And that's the whole point. We're trying to knock them backwards. As soon as he catches it, I drive them and knock them backwards. Again. Running through, bite the ball, pick them up, run your feet. That's high tower. All right, running through those tackle positions. Again, driving through here, wrap them up, second man in. All right, strip or knock the hell out of them. I mean, you know, it's a good, good play right there. But again, just that whole mentality of attacking the guy all right, with the ball. Right, with the ball. Okay, talked about ball, playing the ball in the air, all right, getting through the pocket. This is blatantly out of phase, okay? Again, the in phase, out of phase isn't necessarily always just the nine route, okay? It bent. It's the in cut. It's the out route, all right? It's the same technique. So we're out of phase. He's running. This is the first game of the year. It's a critical third down play. He's out of phase. He knows his only play in this situation is he's got to go up and through the pocket, and he's got to get the ball out. We're not going to go down through the pocket and let him catch it. We're going to go up and through and knock it out, and we're going to finish all the way to the ground. With the way the rules are built nowadays, all right, they've got to catch that thing and choke control control all the way through the catch so we are fighting you can see the arm come down attack the arm pull it down don't let him reach back out again out of phase through the pocket attacking the ball trying to finish knocking it out these are third down plays so the coverage doesn't matter there you play cover one you play cover two play cover five it doesn't matter it's the fundamentals of those situations that we're trying to teach again point of emphasis of attacking the ball this is a huge play in this game right here AFC championship game we're attacking the ball now Rob didn't feel like he had space, goes down, curls it up. Most important thing, secure the turnover there. These are huge plays, all right, in our season. Again, the other one right here, catches it, attacks it, knocks the ball through the pocket right there. Now we're scooping and scoring. We got space. We're not quite scoring because there's... Okay, so I said most of the linemen can't catch us. All right, that guy caught us. He was like, Tunsil was flying. That guy was he's running back. But it's just attacking the ball up and through the whole awareness, all right, of the play coming through. And again, you start to see this stuff show up, all right, in the games. That's what you know when you're when the stuff's showing up in the games that you're coaching. There we go. Slender look right there. Pretty. 
I'm like that Kool-Aid man in that thing. You guys remember the Kool-Aid man? That's how I feel. Confirmed. Another Again, getting comfortable catching the ball in traffic around the back. So again, we, we're seeing our drills all right, show up in the game. That's the most important thing for us. So we had the big bag, remember the pop-up drill? Right, remember that? That's what's important for us. All right, right, all right, right there. All right, I know you want me to get going. Give me like 10, 15 more minutes. I'm going to run through some game tape. Okay, all right, good. All right, again, a couple more things here. Biting the ball. This is 55. I showed you him on the sled before. Again, attacking the ball, turnover. All right, big play force right there. All right, making sure that we're getting the run force. Here's, the, I told you, the heel tackle. All right, we showed you Devin McCourty on that donut right there. Here's a look at it right there. Goes through, defeats the block. Boom, heel tackle, tackle for a loss. Again, just taking the drills and making sure they show up all right, in the game, then it kind of just gives you that justification all right, that you're doing all right, the right things. Again, run game, run fits, you know, defeating blocks, locking out, pursuit on the backside, wrapping up into contact right there, Ninkovich on the edge, Hightower coming from the other side, running the feet and trying to drive them back. Always knocking them back. Again, run force, being physical, it's flipper technique, defeating blocks. All right, but again, wrapping them up, everybody getting in the mix, taking your shot, all right, getting them knocked back there. Get some more clips here. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, this is another one, the two-on-one -on -one that I showed you, the leverage drill. All right, so we're dropping out. It's third and long. They throw the check down. All right, there's my two guys. The two guys are out there. They're trying to leverage the ball. They got him leveraged. The ball carrier turns around. He's trying to find a space to go. We got the ball carrier leveraged. We force him up the middle. Here comes Trey. Wrap up. Tomahawk chalk. Same chop. Same thing we were doing on the big bag. All right, you can see basically two drills all right, that we do in pre-practice or right after stretch that show up on this particular play. So again, Fundamentals, man, it shows up in the most critical times of the game. Third down, got to have it. All those situations right there. Okay, let me get this, uh, let me show, get to these two games here. I don't know if you guys saw this stuff, but we'll go through. A couple plays from, you know, the biggest games of the year. Talk about fundamentals. Talk about run defense. Anybody see this game? This was a little stressful. So, Again, we're talking about setting the edge, run force, knocking the line of scrimmage back. You can see the defensive linemen. They're getting separation. They're forcing the ball carry into the teeth of the defense. And now, again, we talk about there's 97. We saw him on film. He's doing a great job defeating blocks. Rob's got the edge set. We're running through the tackle. Here's the tackle. Run the feet, and now we're dropping. You know, that's 375, 250, another 275, like that's a lot of weight. You know what I mean? Like that's what we're trying to do all right, when, we, when we play run defense there, defense there. <clears throat> Again, another one right here. This was to start the second half. You know, we finally started playing some football right here. So uh, come out, this is the first series of the second half. This is one of the most important plays of the game right here. This is the first play of the second half where we finally got to establish something in this game. High comes out, sets the edge right there, knocks the hell out of the guard, gives him a flipper, gets off the block, wraps the guy up. We got pursuit coming. All right, we get him controlled. Everybody's coming. We get the tackle for a loss. All right, so we get things kind of moving uh, a little bit in our direction. Direction. All right, now we get over here. We get to uh, third down. All right, we got some good jams down here at the bottom. This is Eric Rowe down at the bottom. You can see him at the line of scrimmage. Knocks the hell out of the receiver right there. Stays on it. This is the first third down of the second half. Again, another big series for us right there. Great jam, great line of scrimmage. Ball's coming through the pocket. No penalties. Get it off, and we're off the field. Three and out start second half. That's what we had to have all right, to get this thing going. So again, the coverage, whatever the coverage call was here, I don't even remember, doesn't matter. It's the fundamentals, the line of scrimmage, the through the pocket. You know, these are our biggest plays all right, of this game right here. There's a lot of fundamentals showing up, showing up. Again, edge, knock back. There's the stiff arm, breaking it down, wrapping them up, closing the space, you know, getting them out. Great knockback, great pursuit, defeat the blocks, 
Backside pursuit right there, wrap them up, you know, big tackle for a loss right there in that situation. In that situation. All right, end of the third quarter, minute left. This is an unbelievable play. We totally blow the coverage right here. You can see the tight end, or the tight end, he's in the backfield, comes through, he checks out to the top. Pat Chung's at the top, he's covering the back. All right, we blow the coverage on the guy coming out of the backfield. All right, guy's wide open. We got some rush. Matt Ryan scrambling, gets the ball out. All right, this is second down and long. They're going to gain a lot here, right? Pat, who's playing man to man coverage, has vision on the throw, turns around, attacks the ball, and knocks it off him right there for an incomplete. All right, that's a huge play for us in the game. All right, bad coverage, bad coaching, blow the call, fundamental saves us on this play right here. Just being that attacking the football situation right there. Ball's out, incomplete. Incomplete. All right, so fourth quarter, eight minutes, 28 12, not looking so good for the Pats. All right, big play in the game. Fundamentals, rush, pass rush coverage, the marriage of rush and coverage, being aggressive on the receivers, giving the rush a chance to get there, taking advantage of the scheme, trying to get up on him. You can see Pat down here with the tight end. He's being aggressive on that guy. We've got some doubles going on in this situation. They're trying to throw it deep. You know, linebackers come, and there's high. There's the quarterback drill, right? We talked about attacking the ball, talked about attacking the arm, okay? They had an injury the play before. The running back got hurt. 24 came in. He's not really so good at blitz pickup. I radioed into high. I said, hey, we're going back or left, man. I need a scoop and a score here. We got to get back in this thing. Came off the edge free. Get the ball out. In traffic, Allen recovers it. All right, huge swing in the game. Go down, we score. All right, now we got a chance. Got a chance. Okay, so my rookie linebacker cuts the running back loose on the next series where one score situation, they get the ball all the way down in field goal range. Here's the first play right there after a ridiculous Julio Jones catch. I don't know if you guys heard of that guy, but he's really good. So get the ball out here. They throw the, you know, the toss outside. Here comes Devin on support. Good open field tackle. He wraps him up. We got great pursuit tackle for a loss. Second down situation coming up next. Everyone's expecting the run. I knew he was going to pass it. You know, so we call the coverage, we got a great rush inside, you know, we get the sack, get him out of field goal range, you know, third down, quarterback's been hit a couple times, a little bit rattled at this point. All right, Malcolm's up top, he's on the stack, he's on the point, the jam, the disruption, the quarterback's a little bit nervous, he's gotten some pressure, he got strip sack, he's going to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker, that's all we needed was just a little bit of the jam, there's the top of the route, the ball's just a little bit thrown too far, can't get there. All right, third down, we're out. Offense goes down. Puts the offense in this situation. Got to be able to run the ball to be tough. It's a tough play right there. We score, we win. You know, just, just great, great plays, great fundamentals all right, in the biggest game of the year. Game of the year. All right, last one, Chad, I promise. Okay, another game. I don't know if you guys saw this one. It's a couple years ago. So some fundamentals here. Again, first play of the game, all right? They've got Marshawn Lynch, okay? Has anyone seen Marshawn Lynch? Guy's like Darth Vader, right? He's got the mask, can't see him, runs bow-legged. Like, you don't know, it's like a frog. You're not really sure which way he's going, but then he just runs you over, all right, because he's a man-child. So our whole point was we got to get we got to get everybody the ball. We got to finish strong on the tackles on this guy. We got to wrap him up and we got to go. So we get the wrap up there. We get the leg drive right there, and we knock him back. And we get everybody to the ball. You got a lot of white shirts right there. All right, conversion on the running back. That's what we got to have. We got to have. So first play of the game set the tone right there. All right, three and out. Three and out situation here later in the game. This was a tight game all the way through. All right, here's the deep ball. Here's the deep ball. We just talked about it. What's the coverage? Doesn't matter. What is he in? He's in phase. In phase, all right, my ball. Go up, play the ball, high point it, wedge the guy out, get the ball out. Huge play on third down. Huge play on third down. In phase, recognizing you're in phase, understanding the nine route, going up, wedging into the wide receiver right there, jumping back into him, up and through the hands, getting the ball out. Big third down stop for us right there. For us right there. All right. Interesting play right here, all right? Let me show this one just so everybody understands the game. All right, third and one. Third and one, all right? What's the score? All right, it's 14-14, pretty critical part of the game, right? Third quarter, third and one, all right? Okay, so you got one yard to get, all right? Everyone's yelling at Pete. What do you do? You hand the ball off to Lynch, right? Okay, I study film. 
I watch some stuff too. Like I know they're going to hand it off, so we're ready to go. So this is the third and one play here in the second half. All right, we send Rob off the edge, tackle for a loss. They don't get it on third and one. So just keep that in your mind. The last time they ran the ball on third and one in this game, they didn't get it. Okay, that'll come back. That'll come back. All right, later in the game, this is an unbelievable play. All right, so this is Malcolm. He's lined up at number three. We made some adjustments at halftime, put him in the game. All right, he's a number three receiver. So get a little rub route, a little pick route. You can see Malcolm. His guy's on. He's, he's aggressive. He's going up. He's jamming the receiver, okay? And now he's putting himself in the pick. It's third and short. So he was thinking, like, pick flat, something like that. They decided to wheel it. He's in trail position, okay? And he's out of phase. He's by himself. He's out of phase. So now he's running, okay? Now he's in phase. Now he looks back. Now he goes up to make the ball. Now, this is a very good quarterback we're playing, Russell Wilson. Yep, take note. So this guy puts the ball in the only place he can put it, outside shoulder here. Malcolm can't get there with the extension. It's the finish, it's the finish with this inside arm you're gonna see, all right? This is, look, this is, a, this is besides the last play, this is one of the most critical plays. It's 24-14, it's third down. They get this thing, they're in field goal range, like we're gonna have a rough day, okay? He goes down. And you can see him use the fundamental techniques we just got done talking about. Gets out, out of phase, gets in phase, looks back for the ball, leans into the guy. All right, the quarterback puts it up and over. Watch the arm. It's the near arm, ripping the arm down, pulling through, and now he takes the right arm and he punches it out. And he's trying to finish the play right there. It's a huge play in the game, but it's all about playing the ball all right, downfield with those fundamentals all right, we were talking about. Pete's all excited. He thinks they got it. All right. You don't got it. No, okay, go back. Get in the coach's box, Pete. That's like a 15-yard penalty. We had to be the only team this year that got caught. Anybody see that? We got called a 15-yard penalty. All right, during the, during the quarter change, all right, my defensive line coach is in the white, 15-yard penalty this year. I'm like, all right, never mind, I digress. Okay, so get to the end of this game right here. All right, Malcolm again, it's, you know, again, unbelievable play. Little jam there at five. We're in phase, goes up. High points it, you saw him on the back, high points it, great throw by the quarterback, up and through the pocket, knocks it out. Knocks it out. Now, all right, points of emphasis play. Ridiculous catch. My safety's horrible. He should just wipe the play out. He's worried about getting fined. I don't know what the problem is here. Just go pick the ball off. All right, but he doesn't. Ball falls down. All right, here's catches it. Malcolm, the alertness and awareness to get up and tackle the guy. This saves the game. Tackles him right there. He didn't quit on the play. All right, it's mentality, it's tackling, it's attacking the ball, it's finishing, it's all the fundamentals all right, we talk about. So in phase, up, through, knocks it out, you know, falls off his face, he catches it, we get him out of bounds, all right, they get down there. Down there. Now, next play, 21 personnel, defeating blocks, unbelievable tackle by Hightower, he's got one shoulder at this point, his arm's not working on the other side. Lynch is coming, cross body block right there, goes down, gets him down. We're still attacking the ball right there with the corner, trying to get it out. Ball's on the one. <coughs> okay, fundamentals. Here we go. All right, second and one. Here's the story. I'll tell it one more time. Okay, everyone's like, Pete, run the ball. Pete, run the ball. Okay, here's the deal. All right, so we had a package in called goal line three corner. I had not run it all year. I didn't run it one time. I had had it in since training camp. There was not the right team to run it against until we're literally prepping this week. We got two weeks out. I looked at the defensive staff. I said, remember that goal line three corner package? I go, this is the week. We're going to need it. All right. Great running back. We're going to force them to throw it. We put goal line three corner out there. Pete's looking at it. They got 11 personnel for the defensive guys. That's one back, one tight end, three wide receivers. They got 11 personnel. I've got like 3,000 pounds of flesh, okay, up to the right-hand side of the defense. All right. They're not going to run Lynch into that. I mean, he's good, but we just stopped him on third and one on the previous play. So Pete thinks it's goal line, which it is, but it's a hybrid version of goal line. So he thinks he's going to have matchups with linebackers on wide receivers. It's not. It's corners. So the clock is ticking. There's a certain play clock that goes where the helmet communication shuts off. They go to their standard pass play, which we, you know, had seen, practiced against, repped, missed seven times in practice, all right? But for some reason, we think we're going to get it in the game. So we put it out there. We know they're going to throw. The quarterback goes to his pass concept. They're trying to change it. Once they finally figured out what was going on, but it was too late, clock was going, all right? Their only play here is to throw it. Now, I'm actually watching the top because up top, they create a bunch. There's really a receiver, a tight end, and Lynch is offset, all right? There's a combination route up there. It's going to happen. It's a snag seven flat. I'm worried about Flinch, uh, Lynch to the flat. 
He's going to be wide open. I'm looking at Hightower, who's got a man to man. All right, I'm like, he's about to get picked. He's got to make a call to Chandler. Chandler's going to have to peel with him. If he doesn't happen, like, this is going to be a touchdown. I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. Okay, sorry, there was one curse. I, so I wasn't going to curse. I just did. Okay, down at the bottom. Here's what's going on at the bottom. All right, Brandon Browner. I had made some switches. Some guys were on some different looks. Brandon Browner makes this play. Brandon Browner looks at Malcolm. We had run the play six times in practice. We had done really, you know, really well against it, not so much in practice. And Brandon looks at him and says, hey, I'm going to choke a certain word out of this guy. You just go make the play. So that's going on down here. I'm freaking out about what's going on up top. So watch Brandon. This is line of scrimmage. That's choking him out right there. 100% chokes him out, clears it. Malcolm's just running through. There's the bag drill. Remember the bag drill? Running through the bag, making the play on the big bag? There's the bag drill. Everyone's amazed he caught the ball. That's just getting comfortable playing through the bag and catching the ball right there. Now, I'm watching up top. I'm looking at Lynch. He goes to the flat. Chandler kind of peels with him, doesn't really peel with him, comes off. All right, I'm looking up there. I'm on the headset. I'm like, he's picked. I'm looking at high. He's picked. They're like, no, he picked it. I'm like, who picked what? I was like, I didn't even see the play. And then, you know, obviously fundamentals come through, you know, great play, very emotional play in the game. My favorite part of this whole film, all right, if you look to the right of the goalpost, you'll see the Seahawk mascot. He's up there. He's all jacked up, clapping. He's like, we're going to give the ball to Lynch. We're going to hand this thing off. We're about to win this game. Yeah, here we go. Let's get this thing in there. He's throwing the ball. Why is he throwing the ball? It's picked off. Did we just lose the game? What the heck? It's my favorite part of that clip right there. It's my favorite part. But I just think, you know, the point of emphasis all right, is just all this stuff, man. All right, go back and teach fundamentals. All right, take your time. Teach the fundamentals, teach the, teach the guys how to tackle, get their heads out of it, teach them how to play the deep ball, attack the football, get the turnovers, all right? Whatever scheme you're running, men, all right? That stuff, it's going to, you know, it's going to be specific to what you're doing, all right? But teach the fundamentals, all right, because they show up at the most critical times of the biggest games. I appreciate your attention. Appreciate you guys uh, and girls coming out. I think I saw a couple girls in the crowd. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks for having me, okay? Thank you very much. Sorry, I went a little bit over there.